Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and welcome to another Max 7 tutorial. This is going to be an, an improvement on the patch we made in the last tutorial, which was this patch down here in the corner, which is just a webcam inside of live. It's a Max patch that has activated my computer's webcam and is displaying it inside of the live window. Now, there really wasn't any clear purpose for that patch. I wanted to just to show you how to do some cool things with live that are fairly easy to do. Um, but I thought, well, you know, lately producers have been putting videos of themselves talking about what they're doing in their tutorials. I haven't been doing it. Uh, I don't see the, the point. But this is a tutorial on how to do that without using some fancy screen recorder software of a window inside of a window, taking up a ton of CPU. Instead, we're just gonna make a max patch that does it for us, and it will actually pop out and I can move it. Because right now, if I went on to producing inside of here and I went to the audio channel, you can see that the, the, the webcam is gone, so you don't get to see my beautiful face explaining things to you. I have to go back to it so you can see it. Now, I made a second patch called the window, webcam window, that opens up in a flyout window here that I can reposition and resize. And if I hit start, activates the webcam and you can see it. I can put it where I want it and everything looks good. Uh, I can stop it. And then because I don't like this screen grab, I can clear it and it will fade to black or go to black. And the cool thing about this patch is now if I go to the, ch the audio channel, it stays on top. So my webcam will still be working if I want it to be while making the tutorial. But don't worry, if you're not a tutorial maker, the point of these tutorials that I'm going to be doing here are just to learn some of the basic functions of some of the objects inside of Max for Live. The cool thing about this window, webcam window patch, is that it's just an extension on the P window patch. So what I'm going to do is go back to that MIDI, I'm going to delete the, the final product, and I'm going to take the P window I'm going to open this up in Max for Live and I'm going to come out of presentation mode and I'm going to go ahead and delete the P window, the JIT.P window, and I'm going to type an N for the object menu, JIT.window. And you can see that the window's popped up, but it says U144400, which doesn't make any sense. So we need to rename it Handsome Cam. And then we need to do at float one. And what that's going to do once we save the patch is it's going to keep the window in front so when I go on to produce, my webcam will always be on top of Ableton and it will never get hidden behind anything. That's what we want. And I'm going to come out of this JIT grab into that JIT window. And let's just lock it down and see if it works. Great. If I stop it, it works. Everything is the way it should be. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of ugly in this picture. And the question is, how do I get that to fade to black? And it's quite simple. We're going to just hold down Alt and move the over this button. Go into the inspector and name it clear. And then out of that button, we're going to type in JIT dot matrix. Great. From there, from that text button, I'm going to go to the JIT.matrix, and from the JIT.matrix, I'm going to go into that window. If I lock it down now, hit that button, boom, the picture goes away. And that's all we needed to do to modify the JIT.P window to make it a JIT.window that can float around and says handsome cam on it. So the final thing we need to do is come back in to presentation mode, unlock it, and just move these buttons over, you know, make them look pretty. I'm not going to spend too much time here. Oops. Come in. Save. I got to close out of here. Handsome cam window is there. If I hit start. Okay. See, I have a little issue here. I didn't put floating. That was silly. I have to put floating one, not float one. Sorry about that. Hit save. Close out now. Hit start. Boom, and then I can click inside of here, anywhere inside of here, and it's gonna stay in the front. So that's how you do it. That's how you get that little floating window. That's how you make it stay in front, and that's how you get it to clear. Stop, clear, boom. Anyway, I hope you've learned something useful, and we'll see you next time. Peace.